We're moving to a new site this year. We think it's gonna look pretty cool. It's the southeast corner of the parking lot by the crab apple tree. And we think that the view from County Road 6 is going to look really nice. We've lighted the crab apple tree, so it'll have kind of a canopy overhead. And then Jennifer Larson has worked, she actually worked very hard on this, Jennifer. She worked on the characters and she mixed colors to make them look more vibrant and really pop and she accomplished that. And then we also have added spotlights and up lighting so we don't quite have so many shadows. So I think the effect is going to be really great. The pioneer, as best I can tell, was Ted Wolf. Some of you will remember Ted and his wife Myrna were members of Trinity for, very active members of Trinity for many years. And he, if he wasn't the inspiration of this, he certainly was one of, uh, one of the uh, people that inspired this. To this day, we use lumber from some of Ted's old buildings uh, in the construction of this and we felt for all these years that it's important to keep that tradition going and continue to use it. My name is Troy Coltis and the picture I was holding is our design blueprint. Well, having been a member here of Trinity Church for over 50 years, I was asked to uh, record the memories and the history of the Christmas Liberty scene. I remember Ted Wolf, who was a longtime member of Trinity, built this display in 1990, 30 years ago. Ginger Craven. And Linda Cummings, who were members of the church at that time, did the professional job of painting the original display. Some of the men who helped to set up the display during the early years. Kurt Eastman, Tom Lane, Bob Franklin, Cal Flagg, John Engstrom, Dave Gerberding, Wally Kleinstuber. Work fascinates me. I could stand and watch it for hours. <laughs> now we got the instructions. Now that we're all done. We have new people today and over the last few years to keep the program going. I'm very happy to be part of it. Hi. I uh, was recently asked to share a few thoughts about the history of the Trinity Nativity scene. Uh, I have been involved in it for over 30 years. The history that I know of that preceded my experience uh, would indicate that it's probably in excess of 50 years that this uh, scene has been uh, presented to the Trinity Congregation. Uh, somebody dubbed this uh, the Nativity Ministry the other day. And in all the years I've been involved, I'd never heard that term until this year. Uh, but I kind of like that, and we want to keep this ministry going. Uh, there have been people before us that have been very active. Uh, some of them are gone now. I, I can think of uh, Ed Younger, uh, John Cashmore, John Engstrom, uh, Cal Flagg, Dean Wenger, maybe I'm missing some, but those are a few of the people that preceded uh, me in offering their services to keep this uh, ministry going. We hope that uh, having this Trinity, or excuse me, this nativity scene here will help make your Christmas experience just a little bit better. So we thank you for the opportunity to do it and we wish you all a Merry Christmas.
Christmas. Being part of Trinity's Nativity setup for me is about celebration, preparing ourselves and the community for the coming Christmas season. And it's about tradition, being a small part of a decades long ritual with generations of Trinity men. It's about family, because my father, brother, brothers-in-law, and my son have all been part of this annual Trinity activity. And it's about amusement. It's about figuring out how many Lutheran men can simultaneously bark orders before realizing that nobody is listening. Yesterday, as I was leaving church, um, there were some young girls and a dad at the nativity scene wandering through and I stopped and the dad said yeah the girls when they leave preschool really love to come and look at the nativity uh, and check out baby Jesus and it's just a highlight for them and so I told the girl who must have been I think four years old I said my favorite part of the nativity is the blue-eyed donkey and then without even skipping a beat she said my favorite is the star and the baby Jesus and it was just really a good illustration of why we do this nativity scene.